Welcome to my very first YouTube tutorial video. Today I'm going to teach you how to go platinum blonde for curly hair, but really this will work for any kind of hair that you have. Like the video if you like it. Leave a comment if you tried anything and it worked for you or if you have any tips for any other people going platinum blonde or actually tell me if things don't work for you too. I want to know that. Share this video if you have a friend that you think would like the video and turn on the bell so you get notified for my future videos because the next video is going to be about how to care for your platinum hair. Gym in the rough, staying up tough, trying to hit my goals, making enough, just buffed up, it's a art my role. So first I'm going to tell you everything that you need. Number one, I use Quick Blue L'Oreal bleaching powder. Next we're going to use L'Oreal Volume 40 which people are not going to tell you to use volume 40. They're going to tell you to use 20 or 30, but that is not going to give you the platinum color that you're trying to achieve. So there's a product that comes in this box that I used to be able to buy individually, but they canceled it. So I had to buy the whole box, and we are going to use two of the things that come in here, and everything else we're going to throw it away. <laughs> we're going to use the Shimmering Lights Cream. It is the number three product. And we are gonna use the Anti-Brass Conditioner. This is what is going to turn your hair platinum. This is what we're gonna use after we bleach the hair. A lot of conditioner. My favorite conditioner is the Aussie Moist. You're gonna need a Shimmering Lights conditioner this is what is going to tone your hair and we're going to mix it with um, anti-brass conditioner together this is what turns your hair platinum you need a good um, purple shampoo I like Pureology Perfect Platinum I've been using this for years and some places say that it's discontinued but it's not I was able to buy this on Amazon no problem you need a bowl and a brush Some gloves. I recommend gloves for my beginners. I'm actually not going to be using gloves today. I've been doing this for five years and I feel like the gloves slow me down. The biggest part of this is speed. You want to just stay on top of it because you're going to be doing your hair section by section and if you're moving slow and checking your phone, sending text messages, then the top of your hair is going to be bleached and the back is going to be orange. You need a clip. A plastic shower cap. If you don't have one, you can use a plastic bag. I have five rubber bands. You can use five hair ties for when I section my hair into five sections. You need a water bottle, a conditioner in here because you want to keep your hair moist while you're doing it. And you need some music, some upbeat music so you can keep that pace going. If you don't have someone to help you, you're going to need a mirror in the front and a mirror behind you so you can see the back of your head. But I'm lucky today to have my little sister Taylor helping me with the back. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi. So hopefully you have someone to help you with the back. You're going to do this on dirty hair. Don't shampoo your hair first. You want those natural oils and whatever products you have to help protect your hair. I've seen videos where people are talking about using coconut oil to bleach their hair. Coconut oil is what is going to turn your hair brassy, yellow, or orange. You don't want to have any oils in your hair at all. I recommend that you patch test because why damage your whole head if you can avoid that? This is going to be a two-step process. That This is how we're going to get your hair platinum blonde. We're not going to just put it on the roots and on your whole hair because the roots are going to turn lighter before the rest of your hair does. So we're going to do the hair first and then we're going to go back through it and then do the roots. It's quarantine time right now and I have not been caring for myself like I need to and I actually never let my roots grow out this long. I played the fool until I break down. Watch, we shoot. this in my room. I have um, a towel down to protect the carpet. And I have on my bleaching t shirt. You don't want to do this in clothes that you like because bleach is going to fall down and ruin your clothes. You want to do this someplace where you have really good lighting. 
you want to do this somewhere where you have good airflow because the bleach and the developer are really strong and toxic smelling. Okay, I've got my brush. I'm going to moisten the hair. You want to bleach your hair while it's wet because one, the water is going to protect your hair from getting really dry and damaged from the bleach and two, the bleach doesn't work when the hair is dry. It only works when the hair is wet. So if you're bleaching your hair on a hot day and your hair is starting to dry while the bleach is on it, you're going to want to spray it with some water to keep it moist so that way the um, bleach stays activated. I'm going to put conditioner and really make sure the conditioner gets on the roots. I think using a white conditioner does make a difference. Make sure you really condition the edges of the hair because this is where the hair is most delicate and prone to breakage. And I like this part too because my hair is getting like a conditioning before I start to bleach it. How come you're putting on my braids? Yeah. This is just how I do it. Okay. Since I have a helper, I actually have um, two bowls and two brushes. But I'm going to mix all of the mixture into the larger bowl and then transfer it into the smaller bowl to make sure that it's just equal parts the same. We're going to get our quick blue bleach. It looks like this. It comes in a bag with blue powder and it comes with a scooper. The um, more hair you have, the more bleach you're going to need to make. We're going to do three scoops. Our number three, shimmering light cream. We're going to squeeze this into the bowl first. All of it. Not a lot in there. But this is going to make our hair even more platinum and shimmery. Next we're going to add our volume 40. Now, I am not a professional. I may not be doing the steps correctly according to a professional hairstylist. This is what works for me. I've been bleaching my hair myself for five years. So I'm just telling you guys what I do. And I don't measure, I kind of just eyeball it until, until I see like it's the right consistency. We're gonna mix it up. When I repeat, don't sleep, just earn to if I'm old. You wanna really mix it together too. You don't wanna have those um, powder clumps. It's a little thick still. I played your whole team like a game. This is how it's supposed to look. Nice and creamy. So now I'm gonna put some of this in the bowl for my front. I'm gonna have some for the bowl to, for the back. If you're doing this by yourself, you're just gonna use your one bowl and one brush. So I'm gonna start on the front while Taylor is doing the back. Taylor's got her bowl. So she's gonna unbraid one while I unbraid this middle one. <laughs> Sorry if my hair smells, it is dirty. It's gonna smell like conditioner though. You wanna make sure you're doing this while your hair is dirty, not while it's freshly washed. But you don't want your hair to be too dirty. One time, I kept thinking I was going to bleach my roots, and I didn't. And my hair was so dirty, and I was scratching my scalp without realizing it. And then when I went to bleach my hair, my scalp was raw from scratching it, and when the bleach got on it, it, it really burned me, and I had scabs everywhere. So you don't have to be too dirty to, to the point where you've been scratching it. Let's do this! Okay. So you don't need to have too much on the brush for each section. That looks like enough. And you're going to go through. Okay. You're going to go like this. Make sure it's all like nice and straight. 
and then you're going to put the bleach on the hair. For those of you who are doing their whole hair, you're going to put it all the way down and you're, you're putting it on the hair, but not at the root, just almost at the root. Oh, shit, it's, it's so hard to see like this. Okay, this will be a better angle. You don't need to overlap what the part that's already been bleached. And don't worry if it's not perfect because we're gonna go through it again. Okay. Okay. And then you're gonna do your whole hair like that. So we wanna do little pieces at a time. Little pieces at a time. Doing exactly as I say. opportunity to get um, as white as you'd like it to be because it starts to burn your scalp at a certain point and um, then you have to rinse it and your hair isn't the cover color that you were trying to achieve life in the beat take a seat vibe now we on a roll head to my feet stay deep blood on the fuck I fight my battles on the way out So I won't be dead until I'm laid out Cold watch, weigh shit when you eat Talk at your own damn show When I repeat, no sleep, trust Okay, done the fall. first application Now we're gonna put our plastic cap on And let that start to lighten Everybody's hair is different. My hair lightens rather quickly. I think uh, 15 minutes I'm gonna have the cap on and then we're gonna do the scalp. So I'll be back. But also right now you're gonna be just like checking your hair and taking notes so that way you know in the future how much time this first part is gonna take. And hopefully if you stay on top of doing your roots, you won't have to do two parts. You can just have already put it on your scalp, put your cap on, and get ready to rinse. You want this to be quick. You don't want this to have to take all day. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. Let's see how it's looking. Oh, look at that. It's like turning that caramel color. So now it is time to add to the scalp. I got your whole team in my leg. that I was gonna uh, do my eyebrows. Are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. Okay, we're gonna rinse with cold water. That's the thing, you never put hot water on your platinum hair. The hot water is going to singe your hair and fry it, and that's what breaks your hair. From now on, only cold water, as cold as you can take it, and we're gonna rinse with cold water. And since this part of my hair is already bleached, I'm gonna hold my hair here, and I'm gonna let the bleach rinse this way. I'm not gonna let the bleach rinse all my hair here because this doesn't need to be rebleached, and even the rinsing will damage it. So here we go. Okay, now my hair is really good and rinsed. Now we're going to shampoo with our Pureology Perfect Platinum. People have always been like, why don't you dye your eyebrows to match your hair? And I always knew it would look terrible, and it does. And because I was bleaching my eyebrows, and having fun with that, I got distracted and I didn't leave the bleach on long enough. So, as you can see, my roots are darker than the rest of my hair, but it would have come out lighter had I left it on longer. But some people's hair will um, 
take to the bleach differently. So this may be just how your first application ends up. And if that's the case, then that's fine. Then you're gonna wait overnight and give your hair a little break to recover. Don't bleach back to back because we're trying to keep our curls. That's the point. So I waited overnight and this is how it looks. And now I'm getting ready to add another bleaching application. And this time we're gonna put it directly on the scalp. So I've got my hair back in my five sections and I have my helper, Taylor, and we are going to do the same thing that we did yesterday, except for this time we're gonna put it directly onto the scalp and through the rest of the hair. We don't need to worry about it going directly on the scalp so soon. <laughs> It's only going to be on for about 15-20 minutes and then it's going to be much lighter than this. You need it to be lighter than, than this. It can't be dark orange if you want it to go platinum with the toner. The toner is not going to take this out. So we have to bleach it more. Here we go. Okay, we've got our second application on now. I'm going to put my shower cap on. wait about 20 minutes but I'm also going to be checking and then we are going to rinse with cold water shampoo um, with our platinum by Pureology and then we are going to heavily condition let the conditioner soak in we're going to rinse that and then after that we're going to tone it and um, toning it is how we're going to achieve that platinum blonde Okay guys, now we are in a really good place to put the toner on. It is a little yellow, but that's why we use the toner. This is what is going to get you that platinum color that you want. Sadly, I will not be continuing down this journey with you because I have been blonde for five years and I am sick of it. I actually haven't wanted this color for the past four months, but I knew I was going to make a tutorial video for you guys. I couldn't, I couldn't go to my next color without making this video because so many of you guys have asked me to do it. So really I've stayed platinum blonde for you. So what you are going to do is you're going to do half and half of this in your bowl with your brush that you did your bleaching with. Mix it in the bowl, mix it really well, and part your hair like this, going all the way back. And then just brush it on your hair. It's gonna be kind of watery. It's not gonna be thick like the bleach was. Part your hair, brush it in the hair like this. Get it all in there. And then you're gonna massage it in, but only for about 12 minutes. Any longer than that and your hair is going to turn purple. But even if it does, it's going to wash out within one to two washings. Even, even with 12 minutes, you might still have a silver uh, grayish tint. Don't worry about that. After you shampoo your hair one to two times after that, it's going to be platinum. Or it should be. Usually my hair is. As you can see, this is the color my hair has been. For five years, I've had this color. Yeah, I mean, I, I hope your hair turns out the way that you want it to be. <laughs> Subscribe and turn on your notifications because the next video I'm going to make is how to care for your platinum hair, which is so important.